Hello and welcome back watch lovers. Whenever you read a review or watch a review video for a digital watch they almost always compare it to another model and that watch they compare it to is the Casio F91W. The F91W has seemingly become the industrial standard by which nearly all digital watches are compared to. Let's look at the reasons why this might be. Introduced in 1989, the F91W is the embodiment of Hodo Hodo design philosophy. Hodo Hodo is the Japanese concept of just enough or in moderation and in design it's used to bring people and things together. The concept of Hodo Hodo dates back to the 16th century of Japan's Edo era when material objects had the perfect balance between form and function. The philosophy attempts to connect people and material things together to form harmony. It's a philosophy of contentment and what it means to live with just enough. And we can see this philosophy in every aspect of the F91W's design. Let's start with its size. With a case width of just 35mm, it looks like a toy when compared to my daily watch which is a Seiko Arctura. And yet the size is just big enough to wear it comfortably on most people's wrists. The faceplate is not over embellished with superfluous design details. A simple blue border surrounds the watch brand, the model number and its features. It's a design they got right the first time and has remained unchanged for over 30 years. Speaking of its features, it gives you no more and no less for it to be useful as an everyday watch. You of course get the time, the day of week and the date. The 593 movement is powered by a piezoelectric quartz oscillator that's accurate to plus or minus of just a few seconds a month. The case and band are made of resin and it has a steel case back held down by screws. Not the most luxurious of materials but it is lightweight at only 21 grams and is durable enough to see years of service. It also keeps the price of manufacturing down, making it affordable to pretty much everybody, which these days is around the $15 mark, which is actually lower than when it was first released, which was around the $30 mark. Who's ever heard of Rolex lowering their prices? The alarm is just a simple beeping sound, and yet it's just loud enough to wake you from the deepest of sleep. The letters WR can be found at the bottom of the faceplate, notifying you that this watch is water resistant. Yet the water resistance is not capable to depths of hundreds of meters, but merely splash proof, meaning that it's safe to get wet and perhaps use it in the shower, which is enough for over 90% of its wearers. The backlight is provided by a green LED, which is just a fraction of the brightness of modern LED and EL backlights, but yet again, it is just bright enough for you to see the time in the dark. A stopwatch is the only other feature which the watch provides aside from the alarm. It can measure times accurate to one hundredth of a second and provides split time measurements for first and second place. What more does the average person need from a stopwatch? The Hodo Hodo philosophy also applies to the watch's power source as well. The supplied lithium battery can provide up to 7 years of harmonious service before changing. That's enough for you to become attached and fall in love with the watch. No plugging in, no charging is required. 
So for these reasons, and because of the Hodot Hodot design philosophy built into the watch, the F91W has become the standard by which all digital watches are measured, and has become a part of popular culture. There are of course better digital watches, but who can name another digital watch that has captured people's hearts and imagination? A big thanks to you folks for watching the video. Please press the like button if you enjoyed it, and see you next time.